<laughs> On Wednesday's podcast, you asked if people remember using two keys in their cars. One was for the door, of course, and the other was for the ignition. Yes. But I believe that the following automotive nostalgia question would stump even more people. Do you remember when we used whale oil in cars? Most people will insist they never did, but they will. But they may well have had whale oil in their cars and not realized it. No. Whale <laughs> oil was actually used as transmission fluid in vehicles until the <laughs> 1970s. Until they invented... Um, Look at Kenny. The milfoil? <laughs> <laughs> it was favored by engine... <laughs> Whoosh. Maybe it that really was, did, didn't it? Maybe that was, <laughs> right here? Maybe it was sea foam. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> My headphones. So it was favored by engineers because it was particularly <laughs> effective at preventing rust. In the early 1970s, 55 million pounds of whale oil was being used annually as automotive lubricants. And because of its. Because of its very low freezing yeah. point, just hit the music. Whale oil. Yeah. You got more spots to do. Come on, Reavers. <laughs> hit the music, Reavers. In 1971, Jeez. however, yeah, what happened? The, this, is, this is like that 20 minutes he did on the origin of charcoal. Charcoal. Oh, yeah. And someone thought it was an ad. Pack it in there, pretty tight there. We got some. Uh, in 1971, however, its use was banned by the Endangered Species Act. Auto manufacturers were forced to quickly develop new supplemental oils for their transmissions. Unlike the anti-rust properties of whale oil, the new oils caused several fittings within the system to rust. Transmissions began failing at unheard of rates. Before 1972, you're going to hear every damn word of this. <laughs> Remember how we were sitting there about 15 minutes in, we're going, I wonder where he's going with this. I but wonder where he's going. going. Where Turns going? out he wasn't going anywhere with it. What <laughs> kind of oil? Whale. Yeah. By 1972, less than one million transmissions failed each year. Without whale oil, transmission <laughs> failures exploded to more than eight million by 1975. It took years of research, but scientists did eventually come up with the modern synthetic oils that are used in today's transmissions. But it would be fair to say at one time in our history, whale oil was a wonderful product in a world of bad lubricants. Thank you, Tim. Where do you get whale oil? You don't anymore, Matt. If you'd listened to this instead of being a child, you would have known that. I'd rather be a child. <laughs> Look, Grundhoffers. Let's, let's go with the Grundhoffers. Only! Do they sell whale oil there? Only! 